Okay, we're going to, we've got this Gretsch guitar, Bigsby tremolo. It's got the factory bridge on it. And there is a buzzing sound on, on certain notes. You can hear one there. It's not fret buzz. There's one. The D string at the seventh fret. On the twelfth fret, it's it's almost dead. So it's mostly down around the seventh through the twelfth. And as far as the A string goes, get to the eleventh fret, the twelfth. You can hear it. Maybe the open A. Yep. And the low E. There it is at the seventh fret, eighth fret. Right around that seventh fret, you can hear. Buzzing, metallic buzzing noise. Okay, so you've heard the fret buzz in different spots on the neck of the guitar. And at that point, I thought it was the harmonics of those notes that was vibrating the factory bridge. Because it, it did sound like the buzz was coming from the bridge area and not the uh, fingerboard itself. I also noticed that there was a defect in one of the strings right around the neck pickup that made me think maybe the wire wrapped around the core of the string was loose in some way from the factory and maybe that was causing the buzz. So I got a new set of strings. All right, we've got some Diodario XL nickel wound and these are super light gauge, nine through 42. To change out the strings and see if that's what's causing the buzzing problem. Okay, after putting new strings on the Gretsch, still some buzz, but just fretting the A string at the 16th fret, you can hear kind of a rattling noise. And I have found that if I if I mute the sound behind the fret. So it appear the string is fret buzzing on the 14th fret, or maybe even the 15th, but I think it's the 14th. If I push down, no more buzz. And if I let go of the 14th fret, hear that? So it appeared maybe the neck doesn't have enough bow in it. It, it measures out right, but in the low E, you can hear the same, the same sensation. So even if I hold down the fret, uh, the fifth fret on the low E, that rattle noise is gone. But when I let go, I don't think it's the bridge. Hear that? Hear that rattle? I don't think it's the bridge that's rattling, I think. It's the string from this fret back to the nut. That's it's hitting, it's uh, buzzing on the frets behind. Okay, I think I've got a handle on it. But then I try the A string and I find a surprise. There it is on the A string. This is at the 11th fret. Now if I hold down behind that string.
Okay, as you could probably hear, that was a little frustrating, finding that the A string was not muting the buzz the same way the E string was. So what I ultimately discovered was that some of the frets were not level with the frets before it and after it. In other words, we had some frets that were higher than the rest. And when I used my ruler, my, my uh, 64th ruler, as a straight edge and just gently slid it along the frets, when it came to the problem frets for the low E and the, for the A, I could feel a definite hesitation at those frets before it went up and over them. But also up here, we've got some frets that are maybe a little high. Um, if I pick the A string at the 12th fret, hear that buzz? And it almost sounds like it's coming from bridge. But if I put this screwdriver and use it as the 12th fret to lift the string up higher so it's off the neck, more buzz. Same note. Take the screwdriver out and the buzz is back. Which means I think it's rubbing on this fret up here. It's from the 12th fret. It's, it seems to be uh, scuffing the 13th fret just a little bit. Okay, let's try it right there at the 11th fret. You can hear a little buzzing from the Bigsby back here, but it's not that metallic buzz we were getting before. So now the thing to do was level the frets, and although I'm not going to show it here, it's something that needs to be done a little at a time and very carefully. So I've taped around each fret. I took a little off each of the problem frets, making sure that it still had the rounded profile. Then tuned the guitar back up and checked it again and again and again. And needless to say, it took uh, several tries to get the frets to where they needed to be so there wasn't any more buzz. But it was a very delicate process, and for a little while there, I was wondering if I was actually digging myself into a hole and that I have to be chasing the frets from, from uh, where the problem was towards the bridge itself and just keep following that right, toward the, right to the end of the fretboard. Luckily, that didn't happen. The high frets were brought down level with the rest. It was not the bridge buzzing after all, and with the frets leveled to where they should be, I tuned the relief of the neck to 0.11 because I don't have a 0.10 gauge, which is what it should be. And also I lowered the bridge back down so it's 5 64ths on the low E and 4 64ths at the high E at the 15th fret. And all of that gives us a guitar that's totally playable. And now we've got a guitar that doesn't buzz anymore. <laughs>